Okay, here we're going to be looking at the three secondary nutrients. The reason why I have the shifter here of the car is our primary nutrients are needed first, and then secondary nutrients are kind of the ones we would go to next as far as concern when feeding our plants. So looking first at calcium, represented by CA, it's involved with pro providing structural support to cell walls and serves as a secondary messenger in response to stress. It does not translocate well in the pl plant, um, so that's in mindful. You know, keep that in mind as a grower. It's hard to kind of get that through the plant, and you can show deficiency symptoms, particularly in the newer growth. Soil can help neutralize acids when it's added there. It uh, can be commonly found in uh, bones, and again, that cell wall, keep in mind, that's a very important component of plant cells. Uh, magnesium is the second one I want to go over, and it's a essential component of chlorophyll, and it also aids in the activation of many plant enzymes. Is we see the comparison here of plant chlorophyll with magnesium there in the center. We notice if we look really quick, these structures look very similar. This is hemoglobin in the human body. So hemoglobin's binding oxygen, and we can see magnesium here being that central molecule, being important for chlorophyll production. Uh, the lower leaves will typically show a deficiency by yellowing first. Um, dolomitic limestone, kind of that limestone we use to correct pH, is a common source for magnesium for the plants. Keep an eye out if you're using cocoa coir, as this media of choice and supplementation is often needed. So if you are using cocoa coir, um, if that's the media you're choosing to use, keep in mind you may have to be adding more magnesium than a grower choosing another media source. Lastly here we have sulfur. It's needed for amino acid, or protein or enzyme production. Keep in mind amino acids make up proteins, and proteins uh, are, are a general category for enzymes. Uh, sulfur also helps chlorophyll. Formation and improved root growth and seed production. Sulfur may be applied to soil from rainwater via acid rain. However, this is becoming uh, less and less over time. As we're cleaning up the acid rain, which is a great thing because it's, you know, degrading some of our forest and, you know, eroding some of our monuments, uh, that's a great thing. But uh, as a result, that acid rain was supplying some sulfur. So growers may now need to add some sulfur products uh, to supplement what's not coming free from the rainwater. If you use gypsum or Epsom salts, this will increase sulfur levels. So if you're looking at a way to add it, um, Epsom salts and or gypsum are ways to do that. So keep in mind that is the third of the secondary um, nutrients and just another one to keep an eye out for in your, in your plants.